Hey, folks. Alright, sorry about that. If you guys were just watching a second ago, I have to have my other end here muted, even though I kind of it's nice to know that you guys are able to hear me. So, I am going to quickly update this so you guys see what's the correct name here. And this I is... have searched five buildings and yet have not come up with food, Please. and these are like major buildings too. Hospital and all this other crap. Jesus. Yeah. Wait, powdered milk. It's not good, but at least it's food. I think. Alright, so. Alrighty. Uh, We're gonna try accessing him again. Hopefully, this works. If this doesn't work this time. We're pretty much as well. Uh, uh, I... Hey, Andrew, some bad news. Your mama, what? Um, uh, that server that we were in, it's full. I can't even hop in. Ark, bark, bark. I know, right? <laughs> All right. Well, uh. So yes, guys. My spit. I don't uh, spite, sprite, spit, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but um, and then I will um, I will live. We will go to a deep theater. Alrighty. Okay. Anyways, so. Find me a new fire axe. Nice. Anyways, guys. So yes. No, so I said we... I need to find a new fire axe. This one is. Oh, I thought you said you had a new one. <laughs> Find one, mate. So we're gonna expand this to make it bigger because it needs to be. Yes, I know, folks, it's depressing. Oh. Ah, wait, wait. There we go. Now it's going. So yeah, all I did was just enlarge it so you guys can see what's going on here. Um, anyways. Uh, give me a sec here. Hey, Andrew, so, um... Give me a second, give me a second. Alright, awesome, I can still hear you. Okay, so guys, um, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be dealing with, um... Some... Alright, I just gave a Bambi my gun because I have no use for a twenty two rifle. And, uh, because that gun sucks, so... And in trade, he gave me something else to drink, so... Could you explain to the Twitch people what that is? What what is? What a Bambi is and uh, Daisy. Sorry, uh, I was leaving the lobby. Um, so the way I consider a Bambi, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a different term for like you can you can really use it for anything. So what what I consider a Bambi is a guy is. A survivor who's running alone. He has no group. He's running by himself. That's a Bambi. Like, you got your Bambies, which are lone runners. Then you got your, your little groups. You know, I don't really, I, I don't have a title for that. It's just a group of guys. Or like two or more or whatever. And then you got your bandits, which everybody knows who bandits are. Those are guys. Which, this is the part that irritates me. When somebody says the word bandit, the first thing that pe that pops into people's heads is a guy who shoots on sight. That's a bunch of crap. A bandit is somebody who will hold you up, not kill you unless he has to, like unless you're like not doing what he says. A ba a bandit is somebody who will hold you up and tell you to drop your gear, and they will take what they want and let you have the rest and leave. That's a bandit. Somebody who shoots on sight is a is there's there's a word for those guys douchebags 
And both me and Andrew both hate him. So if you guys are actually on DayZ and you are actually in our server, and you do that, be prepared to be called out on it. <laughs> which, um, which is a, which is why I look like in the filter. I type in loot because I don't like massive loot. <laughs> But something that I always like, that I always try to avoid are the servers that say PvP because that means player versus player, and you don't really want to fight other people because it's just really annoying. Because if you, let's say you just spawned in and somebody runs up to you with an M4, there's no way you're gonna win that fight unless you get lucky like I did and like smack somebody in the face and they get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, yeah. <laughs> now, see, that's only happened once, and that's because I was terrified, because it was my first time playing this game. Anyways. So, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, let us know. I will be glad to... As a matter to... of fact, um, if you guys are on DayZ... Go to your filter for the servers and type in friendly and see and um, I'll let I'll let Joe um, show you the name of the server. See if you can find that server and you can join in with us. Alright, so uh, so I'm gonna quickly head over to that server list so you, we can look at the same server for them. Alright, so All guys right, so just type um, in friendly with like with a capital F. Yep, just give me a second. Alright, so guys, where he's talking about is going right in here. There right. are not a lot of servers. There's six, seven, eight. There's eight servers. Yeah. So anyways, so what you need to do is just go down to filter. Right there. Um, where it says host. That's where you want to type in friendly. And like you said, you want to do it like um, this. Once it loads up all the way, you should see one that is eight out of 30 players, which will be nine in a minute. It's... um. 11:21 time, and it's a friendly loot server. So that's the one I'm joining. Uh, what is it called? Friendly loot server. Friendly loot server. So that's that one right there. So as you can see, it says eight out of thirty. Actually, I think I'm gonna, 68. I think I'm gonna change that. Where are you going no, to? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Just go to that one. All right, got it. All right, so this is what you want. Now, when you look at your pings, make sure that it is not above 100. Anything above 100, you want to stay away because it's really bad. That means um, you're going to be Like I said, you should spawn outside of Electro, which is where we're at, guys, just saying. Um, you should spawn outside of Electro, in which case I'll meet, I'll meet up with you, all right? All righty. I um, say the thing that we need to do is we need to search some buildings, try to get some, try to gather some gear, and um, then we yeah. need to try to get a hunting like situation going on, like some firewood so we can make a campfire, and then some snares for rabbits and stuff like that. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so guys, we are actually um, we do have a Daisy group that we run and control. Um, it's a group that's 24 7 Daisy on our uh, maps. Um, what you want to go to is I Survive, and I'll right, actually put a link up on the um, in the post feed and the description, like I've been doing with all my other feeds. Um, I Survive is a Daisy map that works with um, your. That you can work with other people and like for me and him it works wonderful because we can say hey look at I'm in this town and we can locate it on the map and it'll pop up um, I'm actually right now trying to up boot up my tablet here so I have a bigger map other than what's on my phone there we go yay pretty sunshine no rain <laughs> oh come on He's got a zombie. No friggin' rain, but I got a friggin' zombie. Jesus Christ. See? Told you guys I knew what it was. Alright. I don't so, want no Um, if you guys don't know, have been following, um... Sorry, up, but my foot the, is not on the menu. And all the Daisy stuff here. Oh, no, 
this thing has to charge up. Alright, so I'm going to be without a map for a while here. And yes, it is a little laggy here. That's only because of the fact that you guys are watching. Um, so that means I've got to turn everything down. Hold on. Configure. All this stuff has to go down. So we're going to go into my videos. User interface. Vertical sync. I'm going to disable it for right now. It's just, I don't need it. Quality will go down to very low. Yes, I know, I'm shooting it down. Before, I could run it on normal. And that would work. Disable clouds, shadows. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Hassenberger. Oh, Jesus. So as you guys can see in the background, that's what it's doing. It's changing it all up. Now, the nice thing about this with DayZ is that even when, to, when you have certain stuff like, like this happening, it actually helps make your system run faster but it looks fantastic this is one of the props that will give um, Bohemia and the guy who created this it is one of the best graphic laid out game out there oh, oh we'll do this. Yeah. that's good and very low Whatever you, I wouldn't suggest doing what I'm doing. It's just that I'm doing it because I kind of have to. Um, yeah, so this is where... So as you guys can see, I'm right now having, there we go, now it's back up and running. So this is what Daisy will look like on the very lowest settings. And yes, I know, I told you guys, you guys would never see this, but there we go, now my tablet's running. So we're going to see how long it takes for me to go forward. And as you guys can see, it's a little slow here, and that's I. My apologies. Um, I am looking at getting a. Hey yo, bro, bro, you there? Yeah, I'm here. I just had to turn all my settings way down. Oh, it's about yagging. Yeah, I am. <laughs> um. So yeah, what he was just describing is what's happening to me. Don't worry about it, Are you guys. Are on my server? I'm kind of busy to check. Hold up. Yeah, I'm in your server. Oh, yeah, you changed it to Deepening Dragon. Oh, come yeah. on, dude. You could have fixed it right there. Okay, you did that on purpose. I did, but that's only because I'm matching what it is right now on the, um, what you call it, on the Xbox. So until that gets changed, I'm going to just, you know. Deepening freaking Dragon. Oh, my God. <laughs> So, yes, guys, um, as you guys just heard, uh, my ga uh, gamer take on Xbox, oh, if you want to hit up. Okay, well, good server because it's all friendly and stuff. I haven't run into anybody yet, though. But, um, no freaking loot. I haven't found nothing. Well, oh, found, that's like, going to suck because I'm found, starving here. Uh, listen, I found a fibrillator, so there is loot here. It's just really low. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Cause I spawned in with my guy starving. Well, I spawned in thirsty as crap, but that's not the point. I spawned in with like three zombies right on my tail. Oh come on, let me look behind me. Let me look behind me. No no no. Snipe me or let me look behind me. Okay. Oh, buddy! Things are starting to look up. Alright, 
so guys, um, when you spawn in, the best thing is, is you have the map up and running. Locate a street sign that actually gives your guys this um, location. So, like me and him will actually right now run to, a, to the closest sign and give the name and we'll actually mark it up on the map. Um, I wish I could show you guys the, um, the I Survive. The only problem is, is right now I don't have a contract with um, I Survive saying, hey, look at I can show your material or your product. So because of that, we, um, I can't show you guys that. But I can tell you that I'm using their product and I love it. And they're not paying me to say that. I actually love I Survive the map. They're actually very, very helpful. And the one thing that we found out is if something updates in the game itself, they'll update it instantly on the map itself. So your cap, um, your I Survive map will automatically update. Um, but yeah. Okay, Nothing. so there was a zombie in a building that I just ran into, and I smacked him in the head with an axe, and he died. But the way that he fell, dude... I mean, he's like laying there like I'm ready for you. Did you screen capture it? I could, but I'm not in that building anymore. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, um, the zombies here do do stupid things here. Zowie, so. huckabuck. So I am running south. Um, depending on where you guys um, spawn up, you want to either head south, uh, southwest, no, southeast, da, or da, northwest. Da, da. Okay, so are you an Electro? You never answered that, I don't think. I didn't hear you. No, I never answered that. I'm still trying to locate a, um, <coughs> a town sign. On the shoreline? Yeah, I'm heading southeast. Uh, did you spawn next to Crane? No. Then, heck no, you're not in there. You're not in there. Yeah, I'm heading southeast right now along the coastline. Uh, I hope so. Wait, so you're heading southeast? That means you're heading with the ocean on your left? Yes. Okay. See, now that's why, if you guys know compass directions, it's very helpful. Like, we can give you guys um, pointers on which ways is which. It can get quite confusing with, um, with DayZ. Especially when there's cloud cover because you see no sunlight. But even with the sunlight, it is still fucking confusing. And yes, it's part of my swearing there. Um, so the person oh, that's here buddy. watching with me, yes. or Holy watching my crap. Twitch feed, what's your name there, buddy? Guess what? What's up? Brass Knuckles! Awesome! So yeah, um, so I'm tr hoping you guys can hear him. If not, let me know. I can up make him loud. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. So give me a second, guys. So, Anybody won't that, fight me? No, I'm no, no. Let's change his volume and increase it to. Don't nobody won't fight me. Nah, Maybe. I'd probably lose that fight. They probably got a gun somewhere. <laughs> So, um, what I just did there was I just increased his volume so now you guys can hear everything that he's saying. Alright, I got a box of matches so we can start a fire if we get some, uh... Oh, crap! You got a zombie yeah. on your six! I do! <laughs> Not on my six, though. What, what, what is he, on your three? Every freaking where. They're oh. all over me right now. Alright, so guys, um, one of the things you want Jesus. as a big hint here is the billboard. Dude, this is not the best place to be. Holy crap. I'm in town I'm in the, like town square of Electro. There are zombies everywhere. Ooh, I'm way up. Dude! Yeah. One, two, three, four, four, five, five. Oh Jesus. Oh no. I was not born to run a marathon. We're gonna keep going down this road here because um, eventually I'll hit Electro. Um, Electro is the first major town down south. My dude don't know how to grab a ladder. Um, in other words, if people, if you hear people saying, "Hey,"
Oh, hey guys. Oh, darn. I think I missed you guys. Hey, I just had two people join in, say, um, follow me and um, liked me. So, we're doing good here. Anyways, so, um... Do they, ha do they look geared up or look new? No, no, no. I mean, I'm on the Twitch page. Oh, okay. Um, one is named Harry Odd 14, and the other one is Sam Wilbro. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Yes. How are you guys aside doing? From me, aside from them watching us and me caring about them so much that I love them, I want to give them Christmas presents. I don't give a crap. <laughs> I'm too busy running from zombies right now, dude. <laughs> Anyways, guys. So, yes. Hi there, guys. Um, do you guys have any questions for us? Um, if you do, please ask them. I'm right now watching both screens here. Jeez, I did not know that there that, like, that many zombies could follow one person at a time. That was crazy. How many did you have? Like, I couldn't count them all. But I'm pretty sure it was around like 14 or so. I mean, I was running. I, I ran through town square like a moron because I wasn't thinking. And uh, then after I realized, oh, crap, there's four zombies on me, I decided, screw it. I'm running down every single freaking road in Electro. I ran circles in Electro for no freaking reason. I, I just, I, ugh. I see, I see. I was a moron. That was, that was the dumbest move I've ever made on DayZ, and yet I still survived. That's the weird part, is that you survived the horde. Which I think I'm, you just... I'm, um, I'm quite... I'm actually just... Go ahead. I think you just witnessed the first glimpse of the actual um, DayZ hordes that they've been promising nah. us. Nah. You don't think so? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Because, like... <sighs> I don't know how they're gonna do the hordes when they do do that update, but I don't. But the zombies got on me one at a time. They didn't all get on me at once. A horde is like a is like a big group of them together, like just just walking together. You said you're heading southeast, right? Correct. Are you heading, so you're heading southeast, that means you're heading with the ocean on your left, but you're heading into the freaking water. No, 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 I'm following the road down. Okay, well, I'm heading north, so, like, not, no, northwest, sorry. Alright, so then we should bump into each other. Anyways, guys, yeah, I'm sorry for all this glitching. There's a zombie attacking nothing. I think I just ran into that new town that they were talking about that's not marked on the maps. Which one? There's three. Uh, I think it's Targeta. Okay, explanation time. Uh-oh. Zombie was attacking air for like 20 seconds while I was walking down the road. Keep in mind, I'm walking. I'm not running. I'm not sprinting. Nothing. I'm walking. 20 seconds. Just sitting in nothing. I get behind it. It smacks the air and I start to bleed. So it just attacked you from behind. Wait, your stuff what? Together, Daisy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh shit, I hate this. Alright guys, this is the moment hate of what? truth. What do you hate? Losing connection. Uh bye bye. Oh. <laughs> right? <laughs> well then I'm gonna just sit here in this building. Hopefully you know it fixes itself. 
Remember, if it doesn't fix itself within like a minute, or if you want, if you don't want to wait that long, like 30 seconds, just leave. No, it fixes itself. All right, we're good. Alrighty, guys. So, um, I think Harry and uh, Sam both left. Um, thanks, thank you guys for um, watching. Um, please follow me and uh, yeah. To any of you guys that are just joining us, um, uh, we're. We're right now in um, DayZ. I know it says Hearthstone, um, but that's only because I couldn't update my um, Twitch page here correctly. Or it just didn't let me, actually. That's what it was. Um, but I will update the Well, that's a new feeling. What? I drank alcohol because I was, like, really freaking thirsty. Like, let me yeah. guess. It said you felt drunk. No, not drunk. I got hot all of a sudden. Wow, they actually wow. got like what alcohol does to you, correct? Uh, I, what? What? Are you sure? Was it beer or risky that you drank? Alcohol. Uh. Dude, alcohol. Like, oh, Jesus. So we're gonna close this because I don't want people in. The the tenature, I guess is how you say it. I don't, I can't speak right right now. But do you know what I'm talking about? Tenatonic, yeah. Yeah, that 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 thing. Shut up. I, but wait. Plus, there's no beer, whiskey on this game. Good point. Use your brain. Oh crap. See you guys. There's no mommy. Payback. No mommy. This is a new feature. If you guys are watching my screen here, I on got the, the left, bad people jumping me again. Um, Joe. As you guys, I know you said brains and zombies came after you. <laughs> I know that's ironic, ain't it? <laughs> I know. Anyways, as you, if you guys can see um, on the side of my screen where it says I'm, I am slowly oh, warming up. That is a new feature that I forgot just he was had. there. Darn it. <laughs> and um Andrew's having some trouble here. Wait, Ugh. is that a guy? Is that a guy? No, it's not. Crap. It's another zombie. Oh uh, yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, yep, I'm just gonna start heading north. I'm I'm heading inland. Sorry, but I can't I can't run these guys out. On um on the shoreline, I got to go into the trees. All right, that's fine. I must go. My people need me. Uh, when you get a chance and you're actually in another town in um, inland, uh, mark up your location. Yes, mother dearest. <laughs> Change of plans. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going inland no time soon. Running back to the shore? Nope. Trapped in the building. My moronic self, once again, not thinking, ran into a building. Yeah. Um, oh, it's Britney Spears. <laughs> Is she seeing you to death? Is. Holy crap! Whoa! That is not cool, man. What happened now? I smacked Britney Spears in the face and she died and then two guys just kind of appeared in front of me and I smacked them in the face and they died too, but that scared me. Oh, so you killed Britney Spears and her bodyguards. I did. <laughs> Okay, I know where you, where I'm at. I can mark it up on the map. Please do. I know where I'm at. I just got the... the... Yep, all right. I'll mark it up. All right, mark it.
I will, um, I will, uh, mark my spot too. Um, guys, just so you know, we're using an app on our phones called I Survive, like, survive, but with a Z instead of an S. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. It's a daisy map, and, um, it, like, if you download, you, you got different options for maps. Like, you got, like, the satellite map, which is what we're using right now, which tells you, um, what is where. Like, like medical supplies, water, farms, military bases, all that stuff. Um, the only difference with um, our satellite is you can get a topographical map. Um, the satellite gives you a lot more detail. It gives you, it'll actually pinpoint where grass is, where trees are. But, but it takes up more space. It does. But, but it's worth it. It is worth it. It is so worth having the satellite version compared to the topographical. Holy Jesus, come on! He ran into another zombie pack. No. I'm hungry, I'm sick, and I'm hot, and I'm dying of dehydration. Oh. Dying of freaking dehydration. Didn't you just drink? Yeah, alcohol, and it got me hot and sick. Yeah. That's alright, there's a pond up here. Maybe I can drink out of that. Maybe it'll make me feel better. Whew, let's help. Oh. Uh, or not. Wait, yes, yes! Drink! Drink, my pretty! Alright, so, yes, as you guys can see, um, I'm actually gonna bring up my menu here. So I am hungry, thirsty, sick, soaked, and hot. Dude, holy crap, I feel like paradise. Does your character even know what he's gonna do? I'm either gonna faint, die, or live for 200 years. <laughs> Alright, so guys, like I promised, I'd show you guys that map, or that um, inventory tab. All you do is on your keyboard, if you've got it set up like we do, you just hit tab, and there, voila. Um, we don't... Um, that spot that you marked, that's your, that's your location right now? Um, I moved a little um, southern from that. So you're still moving? Okay, good. Yeah. I quickly stopped him to show the guys the um, inventory tab so that they can look at that as well and see that. So, um, we normally run through the daily okay. um, um Meet an Electra, okay? Will do. Uh, uh wait, you want I me to meet out, an... I ran, hey, 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 hey. I ran out of Electro. I actually ran towards Chernus or Chernozoric, and I'm heading back right now. Alrighty. I'm no longer hot. Now I'm hungry, hydrated, sick, and soaked. So you just had a mild fever there. Alright, anyways, so um, while my guy I was drunk. Dying, and he was drunk. Um, so this color here. I was drunk off of freaking alcohol that wasn't even supposed to be drinkable. I don't think that was a mild fear. I think I should have threw up. Alright, so we're going to go through this while it's saying all that. Oh, one thing. We need to find ourselves some food. That is true. Alright. So anyways guys, Hunger. as you guys can Jeez. see, we never normally hit nighttime servers just because it's just, ugh. But nighttime servers are pretty cool, but you don't need these. Um, what's this your, um, what's server... your status? Like, what, like, what are you feeling right now? Thirst, I'm starving and I'm thirsty. <laughs> you dying of starvation yet? No, just my stomach's grumbling violently. Um. Clothing, I'm gonna actually not inspect. I'm gonna you might make it to Electro. Toss that, and then I'm gonna right click here. Um, what I'm doing right now is uh, it's called process of making uh, rings. It's so I'm gonna tear them into rings. So, um, yeah. So, I, as it says right there, I've just crafted rings. Or rings, sorry. Alright, so we're gonna continue down the road here. We're gonna stay on the road. Now, 
most people like to run either the road, the train tracks, or the um, shoreline. The only thing I don't like about the shoreline is be you will deal with more water. I you'll think have to run I'm through. fainting very slowly. How are you fainting slowly? Wouldn't you be toppled over? I don't know. I'm like, I'm losing color. No, you're just dying slowly. Uh, I think it has something to do with me being sick. Yeah, yeah. that might be it. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys have any questions... Or maybe it's due to the blood loss that I had earlier. That might be it. I completely forgot about that. Oh yeah, because of that zombie. Um, and just give me a second. Hold on, because I'm trying to just explain something. And then I'll let you know when you're good. Um, anyways, so um, as... We're going through and we're playing all of our better games that we play. Um, if you guys got a question about a certain game... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, And we've got a, uh, we got it and we're actually on it. We'll actually meet up with you guys. And if you guys are cool, we won't kill you, we won't do anything. But, but we'll run with you and work with you guys. Um, right now, I'm tr trying to meet up with him. Uh, right now, I am close to uh, Sanichi. Um, that is going to be a small town coming up here on my right. Actually, no. Joe, you are to speak at this moment if you want to hear good news. Hold on, give me a second, guys. Go ahead. I think I have a can of tactical bacon for you if you survive long enough for us to meet up. Do you have a way? Oh, yeah, you do you have a way to open. I have an axe. It's that 50%. You have 50% tactical bacon. Okay. And tactical bacon makes everything better because it has the word bacon. I know, right? Um, just so you guys do know, there are canned items, and you need to either have... Um, actually, I'll have him explain what you need. Um, Andrew, can you go ahead and tell them what they need in order to open up a canned item? Your mama. No. What you need are, you, you can um, use multiple things. You can either use a fire axe, a screwdriver, um, you can use a can opener, of course. That's the, that's like one of the rarest things in the game, though. It's really hard to find one. So if you find one or you know somebody or you have somebody around you that, that has told you that they have one, I don't care if you're on a friendly server or not, hold that guy up and make him give you that friggin' can opener because you need that. It helps a lot. And um, there are a couple of other things really that can open them, but I don't really pay much attention. Uh, you can open it with bayonets. Uh, if you have a SKS bayonet or a, uh, I think it's an M96 is what it's called, bayonet for the Mazen, that opens it as well. What about the SKS um, bayonet? I just said that. Oh, oh. sorry. I said if you have an SKS or an M96 bay in that, then you can open it. Um, but yeah. Um, when we meet up, you guys are going to see that we're going to quickly search the, t the town that we're located. Alright, I'm entering uh, Electra. What about you? I am entering in that first um, village that's right below that marker that I put up. Whoa! Wait a minute, Skippy. I ran from Trinazuric to Electro, and you haven't gotten from your markers to that town? You're serious? I was showing them stuff. Were you laying down and rolling or something? What the Jesus? No, I actually stopped and showed them stuff, and then I... You know you can run while you have your inventory up, right? No, I did not know that, but thanks for letting me know. You have to open. You have to open your inventory up first, and then then you can run while it's open. Did not know that. So now you guys know that. So yeah. Um. Uh, anyways. Um. Just a quick reminder, guys. Um. We're using a couple things here. Um. Obviously, we're on Daisy. Um. For you guys that are on um, YouTube watching this um, later on tonight. Whoa. Hold up. That's a town sign that I want to look at. And why am I looking at this? Well, because it's one of the key things that we need to look at. Alright. 
Hold on, Andrew. I might actually have an update on where I'm actually at. Do you hear any of that? Yeah, so you might not be at that place that you thought that you told me that you were at. Where the freaking heck are you? Oh, wow. I'm very close to you actually. You're at uh, some Russian name that I didn't hear at all because I don't understand Russian. Check the date, um, check the map. I got it marked up. Yeah, I don't understand anything what you just said. Oh, okay. You're, you're like right outside of Electro, so yeah. yeah. You'll be, you'll be entering Electro by the time I get to the other side. Exactly, so we'll be meeting up. Go to the cranes. Alrighty. I'll go to that lonely crane out in the ocean. Uh, uh, no. Just go to a crane. Just any crane. Oh, come on, Billy Bob. No! Oh, don't bring your sister Lucy. I don't want her. <laughs> Alright, anyway. I had guys. to dump her when she got bit by a zombie because I don't like to do zombies. Oh god, no, Uncle Billy. No. <laughs> Uncle Billy, Uncle Joe, little Sounds Susie, like... they're all following me. I'm scared. Sounds like they all got bitten. <laughs> I don't think they're having the brightest of days. Uh, no. Alright, anyway, so guys, uh, I won't yeah. either. Holy crap, come on! Um, sorry about for all that. Oh, yeah, if you guys I are on YouTube and you're watching this, um, and I feel nauseous, I'm gonna puke and I'm gonna get bitten all at the same time. Now I'm dying of starvation. All right, so that means I gotta stop. So remember about remember that thing about going going out to the the lonely lonely crane. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta stop at the um in that this town here and grab food because I'm about to die of starvation. Okay, I'll meet you halfway because I don't think going to that little place is gonna help too much. Ooh. Always check doors that have never been opened. Uh oh. Wait! No! Yes! It is okay. I thought I was at the wrong town, but I'm not. We will not be meeting at the crane. As long as I keep running and you keep running, we'll end up meeting somewhere along the white. Uh, not the white. Oof, I'm racist. Along the. Not the as white racist house as I am. Area. That is one thing I do I'm have to... slowly losing the old family. I do have to warn you guys, um... We'll get, we're gonna have to give you guys our, um, little, um, speech. Oh, here, holy so. kryptonite. Um, once he gets in a good spot, um, we'll actually sit down here and tell you guys. But for you guys in, on YouTube that are watching this, thank you for watching. Please follow, or no, ah, please subscribe, another one. and like this Electro video. Electro sucks! Um, right now, we're, um, in Daisy. I mean, you can find some good gear here, but this town sucks. And I have gone completely... Horrible. So many zombies. zombies. So, I'm gonna There's die like four zombies, zombies for every half a block. Oh, I haven't. Well, it's kind of slow. Yeah. I'm about to lose color. Um, that's one of the signs that you can tell oh, that you're crap. dying. Um, because all the color just zap, just slips away. Um. Hospital. Yes. House. Spital. So that's good. So he's in a hospital. That's a good sign. So we're gonna continue. Actually, um, I might die on the way, but that's fine. Um, one of the things that we figured out is that um, if you die, you actually die pretty close to where you. Did you are. get something to eat? 
No, I'm still dying. I'm still searching, though. But I did find a hard hat. Oh, yeah. Hard hat works very well when you're getting buried. <laughs> I was wondering because I'm starting to I'm starting to starve too. I'm trying not to eat the bacon though. Just eat the bacon. I don't want to. I've already don't lost all the me. color. You you haven't, so eat it. I'm eating the bacon. Yeah. Once you know, once you die, um, lose all the color, the bacon you pretty mine. much are screwed. Um, but as you guys can see, you still I ate the freaking bacon and it didn't change my status at all. Wait, what? Although I am hot again. You got you're you're sick. Yeah, I'm still sick. Still very very sick. Um, all right, but anyways, um, guys, um, both Wait, of us. A thermometer. I can check my temperature. What about, oh yeah, that, that, is that zombie, zombie still to. following you? Yeah, he's still following me, but I, I got into, I got behind a booth, and I don't think they can get back here. Interesting. Alright, do you got time to do the whole racist speech? I will after I kill these two. Alrighty. Um, for those of you guys, I'm sorry, I keep on inter getting interrupted. Um, I'm going to do it now while I'm waiting here, while I'm slowly dying here. Um, I'm going to end up dying anyway, so I'm just going to sit in the corner and watch myself die. Um, I wouldn't suggest you doing this, but because I know I'm going to be... Alright, I can do a little racist speech while I take my temperature. Alright. Okay, so guys, we don't, we're not racist. Well, he's racist. I'm not racist. I just, like, we make a lot of racist jokes and, like, make a lot of comments and sexist jokes and stuff like that. Don't worry. Everything we say, we don't mean it. We're just joking. We just make jokes like that because they're funny, because everybody, you know, clean jokes are not funny. Um, also, Andrew, just so you know, um, yep, see, and I lost conscious there, so, yeah, guys, I told you I'd die. Um, <laughs> right? Anyways, guys, so, um, I'm gonna just explain to Andrew what I've got up. Um, on my Twitch page, they actually got a little, um, disclosure that says that, or that's a warning towards them. Now, understand, guys, that even though I've said profanity is limited to you guys, don't use it as much as we do, we're going to be using it, but it's not in the same context that, well, you guys might be using it. Just what the heck does up. that mean? So, like, you know how you say fuck and all that stuff? Possibly. Right. Well, I don't want it in the chat as much as... Per se, we may say it in our um, in the Twitch. Why feed. does that? Why does it matter? It, they can like they can say that they want to. Well, I'm trying to get to yeah. We might say hateful stuff to each other. Don't do it to you know, in the chat channel side thingy, because yeah, they've got their warning anyways. But um yeah. Have at it, guys. I'm gonna tell you now. It ain't my Twitch page, but whatever. Have at it because it's funny. Just don't be offensive. If you're that's offensive, what I apologize. Yeah. Exactly, and that's what I was trying to get at. Yes, don't be offensive. Holy lady. freaking crap! Are you kidding me? Something. T My something sickness t is getting worse. What's your temp? Thirty-seven degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, not Fahrenheit. Um, Celsius. Yeah, Celsius. That one. Well then. Alright, so guys, um, we reuse, um, launched here. We're back up and running. Um, for those of YouTubers, please. I follow. swear to glob and glory, if you don't start climbing this freaking ladder, I will kill you myself. I will commit suicide. <laughs> and he will. 
Um, anyways, guys, um, for YouTubers, please subscribe and like. I know I keep on saying this, but we, I really appreciate it. It lets me know that I'm doing something that you guys love. Anyways, so. How many viewers um, we got? We're up to now uh, 20 people watching. Yay! Life is still not worth living. <laughs> One actually wants to know, um, how many zombies have you gone up against at one time? Your mama. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, like, how many have I gone up? I don't know. I went up against a lot of zombies. Do you mean it, like, the most? Or I like... think what they're trying to get at is, like, how many have you gone, gone against at one setting, like, at one time? Like, at one time. Yeah. The most I have ever, the most I've ever encountered at one. Wait, this is towards me or towards you or towards both of us? I think it's it's towards both of us. Okay. Well, for me personally, the most I have ever been followed by is roughly, roughly now, around somewhere between fifteen to twenty. See, at one, see, in one setting for me, it's only been like five. So you've seen a herd or a horde. Yeah, and you want to know something funny? That big, that big, well, as you say, herd. Shit, it's a horde. Now. No, you said herd. You said herd. It's a herd of zombie cattle. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, um, don't you wish, though? The, I, no, I don't want some zombie cow saying mer brain crap, whatever. Well, think about it. If it's zombie cattle, they'll go after their own kind. <laughs> oh, dude, that'd be that would be messed up. <laughs> Watch a cow eat another cow's brain. Oh, dude. Thank you for the nightmares. I didn't need to sleep tonight. <laughs> you welcome. God, dude. No, seriously, think about that. Just, just actually picture that for a second. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, nah, but see. The messed up thing about that that um horde is I didn't last five seconds. I was running across the freaking field and my dude decided stop running. Like yeah, you know how it happens. Was he doing that, that um, let me slice the, the um whole slice your neck off thing? No, listen. You remember like you know how like back before they did the um point five uh yeah, the point five zero update? Yeah. yeah. Every once in a while, your guy would just stop, just out of nowhere, just stop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I stopped out of nowhere and got ran the heck over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, if I, like I said, I've gone up against five. Um, he's actually asking you how many um, have you gone up against that you actually fought single, and this is towards you. Oh, actually, fighting, like, sur like fighting and surviving, or fighting and dying, or both? Uh, both. The most I have ever actually tried to fight is about six or seven, and I did survive that. What is the most that you've failed at? 20. <laughs> <laughs> so that's big. Wait, but you said you were just running away from them. How many have you actually gone yeah. up against that you fought that you lost at? Um, the maximum amount that I've fought that, that I lost, um, this one I'm actually kind of ashamed of, it's three. Oh. But do you know what? That's fine because I've gone up against one and I've lost. So don't worry. But we're doing maximum, so I mean, I've I've died about one multiple times because of like spawning with nothing and having one chasing you or something like that. Right. Um, let's see. Oh, one guy apparently has gone up against thirty and one against half that amount, so fifteen. He must have had a machine gun. And no, he claims he no, he only had an lucky. axe. Went up against 30, killed 15, and then died. 
Either they were really freaking spread out, or I don't believe that. See, I don't know if I should believe that either, but... Yeah. Um, Alright, so next person, let's see. Uh, this question is going towards you, Andrew. Um, what was the most funniest moment you've ever had in DayZ? Check my Steam account. Look for pictures. <laughs> uh, which one? Uh, um, because there's multiple best, there. Best moment of my life. Hold on. Best moment of my life in DayZ is going through a town, seeing one zombie walking up behind him, smacking him in the back of the head. He falls over in doggy position. I get behind him and like do that surrender pose, so it looks like I'm humping him. That was my be that was my best moment. Uh, I rape a dead zombie. Don't judge me. I'm lonely. <laughs> Let's see, the next question's towards me. I'm going to read it out loud so you can hear it, so you know why I'm at, what I'm saying. Um, what was the funniest moment for me, and then what was the saddest moment I've ever had? Okay, let's see. Uh, the funniest, I would have to say it would be, um, and Andrew, I think you remember this, because you were there. Um, is when me, you, and a um, random dude uh, that was with us, we were running through a town and um, we ran up to, again, up to a, I guess it was, I don't think, it might have been like four bandits, but I think it might have been less. But we ran up to them and they said they were looking for members to join them. And it's like, wait, bandits don't ask, they steal you. <laughs> you were there with me that time? Yeah! Uh, I don't remember that. I, yeah. I remember that. I just don't remember you being there. Oh, yeah. But, I was there. Yeah. I actually was the first to die. <laughs> yeah, I remember that because um, he was like, he was pantsless and had a had like a, van a vest on and like a cowboy hat. Exactly. And I was, was like, like, what the hell? <laughs> he had a cattle prod. I don't, I don't know what the heck he was trying to accomplish, but he had a cattle prod. But either way. But yeah. He was like, he was like, hey, guys, we're a bandit group. You guys want to join? It, wait a minute, dude. You're a bandit. You're supposed to kill me. <laughs> and apparently, and then we never, me and him didn't know that, that he had a partner that was sitting to, like, behind us, I think it was. And he was, like, acting like he wasn't even part of it. And it was, like, all of a sudden it comes out to be that he was. And I was, like, right. No, see, it was funny. It was funny because one of these guys started trying to hit me and everything. And he hit me and I was bleeding. So I took out my freaking hoe. I had a hoe at the time. I didn't have an axe. And by hoe, I'm not talking about Joe this time. You're welcome. But, Thank you. <laughs> but um, either way, I took out my hoe and hit him in the head and killed him. And they were like, oh, no, he killed him. And then I had a guy chasing me while I was chasing the other one. I don't know. It was freaking funny. It was like, follow the leader. It was. All right. So the saddest moment I've ever had. Uh, and do you want, Andrew, you go ahead and think of one because... I'm going to send it off to you once I'm done here. The saddest moment I've ever had would have to be when I had, a, what was it? I had a, I want to say it was like a P99 or something, MP44, I think it was, a pistol, and then I had, no, yeah, it was a pistol, I had a, um, a Mazin, fully decked, I had a, um, Big, um, what's that big backpack called? The mountain backpack. Yeah, that thing. Oh, shit. Alright, guys, as you guys can see quickly, there's a zombie there. But, anyways, um, but yeah, I had everything all set. I had food, I had weapons, I even had a uh, fire axe. And that's one of the things you really want to look for in an axe. Um,. What else did I have? I pretty much was set. And I went up against one zombie and lost it all. Because the zombie wouldn't die. <laughs> well, although, I my although I do have to say the other one would have been... Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! There's a zombie on my six. There's always a zombie on your six. This is churn ass during zombie times. And holy crap, I'm going to die. So you want to know where you know where want you know where I am at? I cannot talk today. Where? The town that you were at when you went unconscious. Oh, so you're just north of me? 
I oh, know. Oh, come on. Give me the end of me. Oh. No, you, no, 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 no. You might actually be south of me. How the heck can you tell where I'm at when you don't even know where you're at? Because I actually do. Just give me a second, though. If I die, I die, but I... <laughs> I'm, no, I'm not in there right now. I'm in, I'm in the respawn screen. I died. Yeah, I'm about to do the same here because this zombie is not letting me go. Either way, um... Let's see, saddest moment for me on DayZ. Um, I had just got, like, I spawned on the shoreline where you typically would spawn unless you get that really unlucky spawn where you spawn up in the uh, lumber mill up north. No, but uh, way, if you spawn up north, it's um, by, oh, yeah, you're right, the lumber it's mill. It's by a lumber mill. Yeah. But either way. Hey, hold I on, I'm going to just like, let this zombie I, kill me. I, I spawned on one of the, um... One of the, like, all to the side type of, uh, villages. And either way. And ran all the way around the map, getting gear, going through all those little villages and crap. I was packed full of stuff. Had a hunter backpack, which I definitely recommend better than the mountain backpack because it's only five spaces less, and you can blend in better. Exactly. Um, either way. And I had a um, military-grade helmet. I had a mask. I had a gas mask on. I had a, um, some goggles. I had, uh, I had a tactical vest. I had a, a um, crap. What's the name of it? I don't, I don't know what it was. I don't know what the exact name for it, but it was like a military grade jacket. I had spring, um, spring pants, like the spring cargo pant things. But either way, and I had pristine boots. I, everything I had on, by the way, is pristine. And I had a Mazin with a com uh, compressor on it, along with a scope. And I had an M19, an M1911 engraved, which is the white, like it's got like that little white side on it. Either way, and um, I went to the, the major, I finally found my way to the major airfield. My status, by the way, at this point is healthy, energized, and hydrated. And I was perfect. Like, everything was set. I was ready. And I was lucky because I hadn't run into more than like four or five zombies the entire time I was running the island because it's, I don't know how. But either way, it's mainly because I was taking the woods instead of taking the roads. Yeah, but still, that's yeah. even rarer but, to have happen to you. But either way, I finally found my way to the air, the um major military base, the spot everybody dreams of actually getting to. And I was searching the place, and it was cleared out. So I ran to the other side of it towards the military camp that's on the end and searched that. And on my way back to the... um the command tower which is a, like the, the center hold if you guys know what that is but either way and um when i was on my way back i got shot in the head was this when i was watching you at that point in time um because it seems like i actually saw that happen in team viewer you know what i mean yeah, I think you were watching. I'm not positive. Oh, yeah, yeah, actually, yes, you were. Because every time I played DayZ for, like, the last two months, you haven't wanted to play. Yeah. Well, that's because I, it just, it got old for me. But with this new update, this is a, it's starting to get more interesting. They have the trees. I think, I think they're going to, I think it's going to be either five point, uh, point five five or point six that they're going to actually start adding vehicles. Not for all of those. Oh, fuck. No message received. This is the bad part. All right, so... <laughs> for... And the funny thing is, a zombie is running right past the screen, so... Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Never mind. I lost, I lost all that, hey, you're losing connection thing, and I got hit like five times. But I'm bleeding again. Fucking awesome. Get get away from the zombie, take off your shirt, tear it in the rags, and patch yourself up. Okay, so I got a question for the viewers. How many of you viewers actually play DayZ? Uh, give me a second here and hand those actually get an answer for you but anyways um 
I do have to say, I had another sad moment. And I got really pissed off and you said you'd go and take care of the guy. And when you got there, the guy was gone. But um, it was when I had all uh, that yeah, stuff. Wait, 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 wait. I remember that moment. Ha, that was funny. <laughs> right? So anyway, so I got all this stuff and I was heading up to the air base, which, because I was meeting him up there. And, um, and so what happened was I was going through this, um, what was it, an ammo base? Pretty um, much? It was a, it was a military, it was a normal military base, like not, not like an airfield or anything, just a base. Right. So anyway, so, um, I, I'm running through, right? And all of a sudden I hear zombies and I'm like, oh shit, I can't deal with these. I don't have enough ammo. I don't have enough health. I'm, at this point in time, I'm losing color and health because I'm... And connection at the moment. Yeah, and it was connection. So I'm like, oh, no, 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 I'm talking about now. Oh, you are? No, you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I still am. Eh, whatever. Hey, I might as well just sit here. Um, anyway, so um, I let my zombies kill me because I'm getting nowhere anyways. But, just uh, leave the server. We'll, we'll join a new one and then you can continue your story. Yeah. Anyway, oh. continue talking. Anyway, so what happened was um, I ran into the base not knowing that there were people that were actually in there shooting at the zombies who I thought they were um, shooting at whatever was coming through, which kind of happened to be that. And a guy comes running up, shoots me, Runs into the building and says, hey, I got one. And I'm sitting there trying to communicate to them, you know, it's telling them, hey, no, 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 I'm an actual person. Can you heal me? Can you hear heal me? None of them wanted to do that. They were like, oh, it's a zombie. Shoot it again. And it was kind of sad because I lost Mazinan, a, um, a hunter backpack that was completely full of medic stuff and all that. Um, I had a green camel jacket. Um a fall camel pants, cargo pants, uh, military boots, uh, I think at the time I was wearing a, um, Vietnam Rangers hat, it might have been a beret, I'm not sure, or a beret, I mean, but anyways, but I lost all that just right there, then and there, and I was like, oh, come on, <laughs> anyways, so, um, Oh, Andrew, just to um, give you a response on your question there, it looks like a total of five. No, no, never mind. Seven people actually have the game. How many of you guys want you to play with us? Wait, let me change that. If you guys got TeamSpeak, how many of y'all want to play with us? Two want to play with us. And both of them do not have the, um, what you call it, TeamSpeak. That sucks. It does. It really does. Anyway, so, um, uh, so, uh, what was I going to ask? Actually, hold on. Uh, if you guys have another question for us, please let us know. Um, I'd be interested in, or I'll be... I'll be, uh, wow, can I talk today? I'll actually share it out loud just so everybody can hear it and so people can, or so he can hear it. And, all right, Andrew, I, a viewer has a question for you. Okay, and I have, an, I have a statement for you as well, Joe. I need you to join me. And go with the question. All right, so hold on. To the person that just joined, hello there. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not um, Heatstone that's actually being played right now. We're actually on day Z, just so you guys know. Anyway, so the question was, what is the, what is your most favoriteest gun on the game? 
most favoritist? You mean most favorite? They put favoritist. So I'm just... You moron, go back to English class. <laughs> I'm just relaying their question just as they wrote it. <laughs> Learn to speak English. I can. <laughs> it's how they typed it out. Right, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I actually have multiple favorites, um, depending on the situation. Uh, I would have to say the gun I love to find the most is the Mazen. Ignore that. Freaking telemarketer, y'all be calling and want me to buy stuff. Nope. <laughs> um. Yeah, but either way, the Mazen is definitely one of my one of my favorite guns to look for because it's accurate. It's long. It can be used as a rifle or a sniper. It's long range, and it's in all in all, it's a really good gun. Plus, it's um, a multi-shot uh, weapon, so it's not, not like a, a single it's, fade. Well, it's semi-auto, more or less. I, I wouldn't even call it semi-auto, but um. My second favorite would definitely have to be the um, the M19 because it's it's a fast acting pistol. It's really once again it's very accurate and it's a really good gun. I, I love it. I just I, I just love it because I love it in everything. I love the M19 just in general. <laughs> I let's see if I had a favorite gun in this game, it'd have to be. Um... The sports rifle. Um, what is that? Oh, called? dude! Uh, oh, dude! Shoot yourself. Well, no. This is why I like that the sporter. Uh, the sporter is a shotgun, I believe, right? The twenty-two sports rifle is a freaking twenty-two rifle, and it sucks. It's the gun that sounds like it, ha it like it constantly has a suppressor. Right. The only reason why I like it is because up close, it's deadly. It's one shot kill. But it is this, not. What are you talking about? It, it is takes two shots to kill a zombie. Yeah, I'm talking about an actual live person running around. It takes one. It does not, dude. Have you ever actually used the sporter? Yeah, actually, I have once. I have shot a dude that had no gear. He had pants and not, not even a shirt. He didn't have his actual shirt on. And he had a hoe in his hand. He hit me, and I tried to shoot him. I had to shoot him three times. And, and then... All, all that did was just injure him. He kept running. Border sucks monkey nuts. But I do have to say there is one other gun that I really like above the um, Sporter. And that's the SKS. And say what you want about the, S about the SKS. It is really good. Because you can find it's more... Not accurate, though. That, that is true. It's not accurate, but it's got more attachments that you can find everywhere. Oh, it doesn't. It's got yeah. a bayonet. That's all I've found for it. A bayonet and a clip. You can get a bayonet, a clip, and a scope. The scope that goes on the Mazen. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I forgot. Yeah, you, you get the same attachments on the SKS as you do with the Mazen. Right. But you can find them more easily for the SKS than you can for the Mazen. Eh. Depending on the area that you're looking in. Alright, so, um, folks, if you remember how we said that you either spawn out on the shore, which is the best spot to spawn, I was very unlucky. Andrew, guess where I spawned? Uh, two miles from I don't give a crap town. Pretty much, I spawned inland. By the, by the lumber mill? Yeah, I believe that's where I'm at. <laughs> Shoot yourself. That I know, sucks. right? Dude, you gotta run for three miles just to find a building. I hate that, though, you know? That's the one that, yeah, I, I don't much care for that spawn because, like I said, you gotta run for three miles just to find something worth looking at. Exactly. Because there's nothing at that at, at that little factory. Uh, hold I on. have searched that place up and down four times on, like, ultra loot servers and have found nothing. Andrew, a question in only for you. Uh, okay, um, wait. I'm gonna give you guys my answers to everything. Yes or no is always no. 
If it's a math question, it's always seven. And if it's anything else, it's always penguin wear hat. Penguins wear hats. It's Next nothing question. that deals with that. Oh, so wait a minute. So it's not a math. It's not a yes or no. And it's not a worded question. What the heck? What kind of question is you'll that? You'll see. You'll see. Because it does not deal with penguin. And you cannot answer it as a penguin. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Or that. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> The question is, and he, uh, I'm going to be answering this after you answer it, because it kind of went to both of us, but the question is, and I can say right now, no, because we know all of that, um, the military lingo, the question was to both of us, are you guys in the military? Uh, him, no, me, used to be. And then he would like to know as well um, what branch and for how long. Uh, I've actually been in multiple. I started out um, in one and then got offered a better job, so I moved to a different one. Um, started out in the Marines, got offered a job as a SEAL, so moved to the Navy. And final part of the question, what rank did you get? Uh... Well, for the for the first one, like, because when you move to a different branch, you kind of, like, your rank transfers, like, for instance, you got, like, private lieutenants and sergeants and captains and all this crap for, like, the Marines and the Army and all that. And then for, like, the Navy and the Air, and, well, for the Navy, you got, like, petty officers and all of this other crap. But, um, oh, crap. Um, <laughs> No, <laughs> Uncle Billy Bob is back behind me again. Oh no. shit! Run, but, um, run. <laughs> either way, um, for the first for the first half of my career, um, I was actually uh, I got up to the rank of sergeant, which was not easy. And then for the second half, I actually got like when I got moved over, I got up to petty officer second class, which is like two ranks above sergeant if you were in the army. And another question for both of us. Actually, I can answer this. The uh, question was, how long have you guys known each other? And it is going on our fourth year as of... January. Okay, don't say it like going on our first year because we are not dating. No. Yeah, no. Oh, come on, I'm losing connection. <laughs> <laughs> but we've known each other for close to four years. Yeah, we actually met on Xbox on Battlefield 3, and then um, then we kind like kind of ever since then just kind of started playing more and more games together on Xbox, and slowly I convinced him to get on the computer and all that other stuff. All right, so question towards you only because uh, the same guy that asked about the military. Um, what's your favorite gun in the military right now, as of in real life? Well, that depends. It goes back to what I said before. I kind of have mo holy Jesus, uh, dude! What the what did I just walk into? I'm sorry. I I I'll answer your question in a second, but dude. <laughs> Holy crap, Tard! What, did you walk into zombies fucktarding each other? No, I didn't actually. I walked into a freaking gold mine of loot. Oh, nice! Oh crap, I gotta make a decision. First aid kit full of supplies or can opener? Can opener, always. Can freaking opener, unless I find something better. <laughs> Either way, um. It really depends. Can you elaborate a little bit? Like, um, first, it's if, like, like for what? Like open field, close quarters. I, 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 I can't really answer that question because, I mean, like I said, I got multiple favorite weapons for different scenarios. Hold on, I'm trying to skim to see what he's if he does that. And yes, he does. He wants to know. Um, first of all. 
um, best sniper rifle you've used in your career, what um, AR, and you can go and bitch him out later. <laughs> but he yeah, wants... okay, look, all right, hold on. I'm going to go ahead and do this right quick. I'm not going to fuss him out because he probably doesn't know. But, guys, understand something. AR does not mean assault rifle. <laughs> it does not, and it irritates me when people say... AR and mean it as an assault rifle. Holy crap, there are five zombies behind me. I don't like this. But yeah, AR does, does not mean assault rifle. Look it up. It it just doesn't. It's actually, what it stands for is the um, company, and I think Andrew knows the actual name once he's cleared here. But he wants to know what the uh, uh, assault rifle was that you liked, or it was your favorite. favorite. And then, M16. M16 kind of figures. Um, what um, LMG or light machine gun and then heavy machine MG4 gun. Would be. Or, or, or if I want to get kinky, MG36. Ah, and I completely lost connection to the server, so. Either way, and next, like if you're if you're asking your favorite gun in each class, then I can give you that easy. Yeah, it pretty much is what it is. It's just each class. So start off with the sniper rifle. Okay, sniper rifle. Um, depending on what the um, objective is at the time. Um, my my top three favorite sniper rifles are um. Oh and oh, hold on hold on he oh. just added something to it. Okay. With your favorite rifle or gun in each class, he wants to know what is your farthest hit that you've had. Farthest hit that I can record. Um. For, I'm gonna go ahead and just assume that that's for sniping. Holy crap! I found a pistol. Um, nice. And he wants it for all the classes, which I don't know how you can for the others. I can't really state. I can't really state how like my furthest shot from any right. of the So I don't know why he said for all the classes. Give you that one on the. Holy crap! Holy dude. Two pistols, both the same gun, plus a wooden stock for an AK. Oh my gosh. This is the greatest spot in the history of ever. <laughs> I love this town. I am staying here. Take care of that zombie that's outside. I can't. There's like five of them, and all I got is a splitter X. Oh, yeah, that's going to dis get destroyed easily. But anyways, um, so go off, um, list off the guns and their distance. Um... Further shot that I can record for snipings, um, the Barrett 50 cal, which is a little over two, three, little over a two or three thousand meters, which is actually not hard at all to do, but, you know, um, either way, um, second would be the M24 sniper rifle, which is a basic sniper, it's not very, it doesn't have very long distance or anything. But my my longest shot with that is about is about um, fifteen hundred, and that was that was a moving target as well. Um, and then my third favorite is is actually kind of hard to determine, but uh, I would have to go with the M ninety eight B, which if you guys play Battlefield, you know that gun by heart. Yes, you guys do. Are those zombies off of you? Are they what? Are those zombies gone and off of you right now? No, they somehow managed to glide through the walls like before. So I'm killing them off one by one. But either way, ah. um, so yeah, those are those are the longest ranges that I can that I can recall. All right, but you still got a list uh, different class of um, guns that you still consider the favorite. Uh, SMG would definitely be a UMP-45 or a MP-7. SMG stands for submachine gun? Yes, SMG does stand for submachine gun. Wow. Either way, LMG is a M240B um, or an MG-36, like I said. Uh, snipers, I've already listed those. AR, well... Yeah, I'm just gonna go with your with your slime. Holy crap! I got pushed through a wall by a zombie. Oh uh, no! It's time to run. It's time to run for Uncle Billy Bob. But um, either way, for assault rifles, definitely the M16 
uh, car, uh, carbines. Um, G36C. No doubt the G36C. I love that gun. Um, pistols, M9 or an M1911. And pretty much, yeah, that's it. Um, if you want to go special weapons, I can go there too, but that's kind of hard to determine as well, being that there are so freaking many. <laughs> All, right. All right, so, um, one of the get, or viewers wants to know, um, and I don't think it, I don't know if I can recall what map we met on, but, um, he wants to know what uh, map did we Firestorm. meet on. Firestorm. Operation Firestorm. Was it? Operation Firestorm, you were, we were both on the U.S. team. I was for gunning. <laughs> We ended up getting a lot of, like, on a really big kill streak. Yes, I do remember all of this crap. Afterwards, after we died, we got shot down by a stinger. Um, we I, we spawned in at the deployment. You were trying to go to a tank, and I invited you to a party, so you joined the party. We both hopped into a tank. We both hopped into different tanks. Captain bases, blah, blah, blah. In short, we won. That, okay, yeah, I do recall that, yep. All right. Another... Viewer wants to know, have we been into in any clans? Um, we actually have. Four. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've actually, st I, we actually started, uh, I started one, which is when I met him, and then we started two from there, and we just, uh, we just were in talks with somebody that were, um, trying to get us into a Milson, but we decided we're not going to be serious about it, we're just going to help them get started, and then we're out. So, yeah. So a total of four. Count that. Four. <laughs> well, actually, hold on. Actually, we can't just say that because I've been in five and you've been in a lot more than five. Well, no. Well, together. They said together. Or at least that's what you said that they said. Yeah, that's true. But I'm going to say how many have you been outside of the both of us? Well, the entire time I've known internet... Um, let's see, six or seven, yeah, no, yeah, seven, seven, because I remember having a clan for, um, a flight simulator game along with Battlefield 1942, and then, um, the, after that clan failed, uh, I got into UN, USMC on, on COD Modern Warfare 2, and then I left that clan and started UNS. No, not, yeah, US, USF, I believe is what it was, yeah, USF, yeah. and then that's when I met Joe, and then we did those, those other, that other stuff. So, yeah, um, alright, let's see, another guy, actually, a different person, wants to know, and, uh, you can go first, and then I'll go, if we were in the actual zombie apocalypse, and we were able to grab a full kit, like, completely full kit, and have unlimited ammo and all that, um, what would your setup be? My setup. My setup. And hold on, uh, I'm gonna quickly ask this question. Um, in this apocalypse, are all the vehicles down for good? Like, we will never be able to use them, or can hey, we... Hey, I don't need a vehicle. If I, if I can have whatever setup I want, I don't... Hey, screw the vehicle. Well, because the only <laughs> reason why I ask that is, if we can get a vehicle, I'd take an Osprey. And that'd be that. What? Uh, no, uh, you, you're going on that one by yourself. But anyway, so um, you go first, and then I'll get an answer from the person here. Um. Well, number one, Joe, I'm in a server again. This is 24/7 daylight. Join it. But um, either way, if I could have any setup I wanted to for a zombie apocalypse, I would definitely take a. Uh, Hmm. I don't know, really. I mean, it differs. Do you want me to go ahead? Because I, um, I know what I'm going to take. I can... Wait, what? If you want, you can think of what you want. I already know go, what I want. Go, go ahead and tell them what you're going to want while I think of a gun. Because after the gun, I've got everything else. Alright. So what I would do, and what I would take is... Hold on. 
I would take actually multiple guns because he just he didn't say we had to have one gun. So you gotta be realistic though. You can't say you would carry four assault rifles, two rocket launchers, oh, no, 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 and Andrew knows why. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I've got to laugh at that because, holy crap, dude, you're not going to last five minutes. No, hold on. Hold on. Anyways, so I'll take a sniper rifle with me. Then I'll take a um, an AUG, which I love. I like how they <laughs> look and how they're designed. Andrew should have known that was coming. <laughs> um, on my side, like at the hip, I would take either a... Um, a MP114 or a MP1145. Either one. Um, if you guys don't know what those are, those are um, pist uh, heavy pistols. MP MP114. I, I meant the 145. 145. Yeah, the Magnum. The Magnum. Yes, the Magnum. Why don't you just say the freaking 45? Because MP145, that is not that no. Whatever. Just say the 45 and stick and stick to your layman terms because you don't know how to do like the actual names. All right, whatever. So I'll take a 45 Magnum 45, um, and then I would take a combat backpack. Uh, what kind? What do you mean, what kind? There are multiple types of combat backpack, genius. Uh, heavy combat. Dude, you're gonna, not only are you not going to last five minutes, you're going to topple over every time you try to walk. <laughs> well, then I might take a medium, but anyways. But I will take a combat backpack, um, combat jacket, cargo pants, um, combat pants, milt uh, combat boots, uh, a... Um, I don't know if he's saying all oh, technology is out. So if he's not, then um, I'd take a um, what a, um, a optic um, visor. Try to um. All right, picture it this way. Picture. Well, for zombie apocalypse, if zombies do ever happen, then eventually all the world's powers and water and all this crap's gonna go out because nobody's gonna be tending to it. Right. So think right. of it that way. I you have no charger, you have no power, you have no water, nothing. But I'm also thinking that on my backpack, at least some spot, I'm going to have a solar panel, just a small one, like a portable one. Or not. Why not? I'm just saying, what if you don't? Mm -hmm. I don't know, and I might be screwed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyways, you got yours? Hmm. I think I do. And I'm screwed because I know where I'm at and I can't move. Because if I move, I've got a whole bunch of zombies that are going to kill me. Oh, you poor sweet thing that nobody cares. Nobody cares because I got Cantuna. Yeah, well, I'm in that city way up north. <laughs> oh, dude, you are so boned. Yep, and see, see, guys, this is why. Andrew can probably tell me the name of that city. I could, but that'd be too easy. And also, it really doesn't matter because uh, I'm heading towards you anyways. No, because I'm losing connection. Yay! Yay! I can be happy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, either way, back on question, because I'm sorry, I'm getting really off topic. I, I do that sometimes. I get off topic really fast. We both we do, both. so. Uh, either way, um, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. So, first I'm going to go over my gear, then I'm going to go over my weapons. Um, there you go. For my gear itself, I would take... 
I would probably take um, military grade pants because I do have access to those. I can get those. That's why I'm saying be realistic, Joe. But um, either way. I can get it through you, so there, ha. Huh? And I would take, um, what if we don't ever meet up, by the way? But I would take um, boots that held up pretty well, like, uh, like Joe said, combat boots or even just like working boots, like working boots or something like that. But um, after that, I would take uh, for a, for a, like a shirt. I would take some kind of tactical shirt, something that had like a lot of pockets, because you never know when you're gonna need those. Plus, I would take like it would have to be really warm, which is why I say tactical shirt, because tactical shirts are made to keep you warm while at the same time holding a lot of stuff. So, I would definitely take one of those. And if I had, if I could, I would take some kind of vest so I can you know, also have a little bit more carrying capacity. Uh, after that, I would take, I don't know what kind of zombies you have in mind. I don't know if you're talking about DayZ zombies or like World War Z zombies or Walking Dead zombies or I don't know what kind of zombies you're thinking of, but just to be extra careful. Um, actually, scratch that. Scratch that all out. Um, for the shirt, like everything but the, like, just the shirt. Just scratch the shirt out. I would take take a, like some normal t-shirt or like a tank top or something. And over top of that, I would have a, like a leather jacket that had a lot of pockets or at least a couple pockets. Because leather jackets are hard to like bite through and hard to get, like hard to damage. Plus they hold up very well and they're very warm. Um, and plus I have one that has a hood on it so I would take that one with me because you know, like, the hood can also keep you warm during like the winter. Uh, after that I would take a backpack. It wouldn't have to be a very big backpack, just something I can haul stuff in, ammo, medicines, food and water, you know, typical stuff that you need. Um, after, along with the backpack I would carry gloves because once again they're like, if you get like leather gloves or any kind of glove really, as long as they're not like cotton. They're kind of hard to bite through, plus they, they protect your hands and they keep you warm and all of that. Afterwards, I would get me something to cover my neck and like go all the way around my head like, like, like a, a ski turban. mask type of thing. Kind of like a ski mask type of thing, like I said. That way it protects my neck, keeps my, keeps my face warm and all of this. Then I would get something to cover my face, you know, like a bandana or some kind of mask or something like that. Like a Ga like not like yeah like a gas mask or something like that that way if it like if let's say for instance the zombies are like toxic or something like you breathe it in or they get or any like their blood or something gets in your mouth or in your nose or something like that you get infected i take something to cover my face and if i didn't have like a mask like that kind of mask i would get a bandana or something to wrap around my face along with goggles and something to cover my nose which the whatever i use to cover my mouth is going to cover my nose as well um, after that, I would, I wouldn't really worry about a hood, like, not, like, a helmet or anything like that, because it really doesn't matter. I would just use that hood to cover my head. And then as far as weapons go, um, I would make sure I had, like, something quiet, like a melee weapon or something, something sharp, like a, uh, like a tactical knife or... I wouldn't say like a machete or nothing because I mean they they're very handy but they also take up a lot of space. I would get like Wait, a katana. Wait, what about a katana? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would get like a katana or something, something I can wrap around my back, kind of like throw the strap over my shoulder. And um, I would and for like weapons and something, I would always carry something I can use like a suppressor or something or or even just something completely quiet because if zombie like according to all zombie moves, if zombies ever become real, they're gonna be attracted to the noise. Which, you know, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> so I would make sure I always stay quiet. And then I would always carry like a sidearm, like a pistol, something like an M9, something accurate. And like for instance, for my primary weapon, I wouldn't use like a Mazin because you can't suppress that. It's not made to carry a suppressor. Nice. But yeah, that, that would be that would be me. Alright, so, uh, we actually do got an update, because you know how I asked if there's going to be electronics and all that. So, he said, 
the time the zombie apocalypse would be in a time where or at a time period where we actually have all electronics be self-sufficient so that means you don't have to have human interaction at all so, so three thousand and twenty seven hundred right like just somewhere in the future exactly well, in that case, then you're screwed either freaking way because electronics are going to screw you over eventually. Because right, exactly. electronics are loud. Electronics emit noise. Unless, unless you get like, I, I don't know. But um, if I could have electronics, I would get a flashlight. Yeah. I wouldn't take night vision goggles before, because first of all, Joe, don't say that you would because you don't have access to them. Neither do I. But, um... I would definitely take a flashlight. I don't even think I would even grab night, night vision at all. Just to be honest with you. You wouldn't really need it. Yeah, because over yeah. time, your eyes would just get adjusted to, you know, the darkness. You wouldn't be able to see in the dark, just saying. Well, no, but you'd be able to see somewhere. Like you know, just the very faint outlines and stuff. It wouldn't be like uh, it wouldn't be like in like in Daisy here when it, when it's nighttime. Oh no no! Like, I don't nothing. expect you that. Would, no. You would be able to see. You can see at night. No, I mean like if it's like five feet up uh, in front of you, you'd be able to see the faint outline. But other than that, you're fucking blind as can be. Yeah, but either way. Um. All right. So we do have another question, and this one actually goes to me. Um, and I don't know why they are curious about this, but they asked, um, I guess they're seeing some of the hand movements, and they're asking if I'm gay. <laughs> don't answer that. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that with, you guys can think what you want, but I'm not responding. So the next question is towards um, you, Andrew. Okay. Okay. And they're kind of getting a little personal, but you tell me when we cross that boundary, all right? Just ask the freaking question before I come over there and punch you in the nose. How many girlfriends have you had? 50. I look like Robin Williams. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> why does it, like, all right, just, I, I don't mind answering this question, but I do want to know why. Like, why are you asking this? Like, why does it matter? Don't give me some crap answer like, oh, I'm just curious. Because no. I don't know where you live, but I will come over there and make you look like Daffy Duck. <laughs> no, they actually did respond. This was actually pretty quick. Um, they're wanting to know because it just seems like me and you are both like heavy gamers and we shouldn't have any kind of social life outside of... Wait I a minute, people. A are you serious? Life. <laughs> um, but... I do currently have a girlfriend. Just saying. And laugh at me all you want to, but we are fine, okay? Although I'm kind of ticked off because she has yet to watch Walking Dead. She hasn't watched it yet? She's watched, well, she's watched like two episodes, but then she got me stuck on Vampire Diaries, and now we're all like all over that right now. But enough of that. Don't call me gay. <laughs> <laughs> but, All right. Um, so, um, anyway, in the past, in the to answer the question completely, in the past, I have had. Well, I know three. you've had three or two with me, like you know when I was when I was. Whoa. <laughs> we were that, my friend. <laughs> All right. Since I've Whoa. known, since I've known you, you've had two girlfriends. I've had three total. Uh, let's see. I've had. Let's see how many. I one. Want, well, like one was a kind of a with. was a one day kind of relationship. That's not a relationship. Yeah. So, um, at most, I had four. Wait! Whoa! Whoa! Wait a minute! Hold up, Skippy. We mind what? Yeah, four. What? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I gotta go shoot myself. 
Yeah, the fact yeah. that the heavier gamer has more had more girlfriends than you did. That that's sad. That's terrible. Come on, you don't even leave the house. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> okay, I mean other than to go to McDonald's. I don't go to McDonald's all the time. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> Uh, but yes, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna stop it right there. That's as about as personal as you guys are gonna get with me. Uh, you can ask as many questions as you want to with me. I'll tell you when I don't care. <sighs> Alright, anyways, so we got a statement here. Um, it says, Hi guys, um, my name is. Hi, yo! Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. I'm not going to say your guys, um, everybody's names, just so you guys know. Just know that I'm reading off your statements or questions. So anyways, it they goes. So anyways, it goes. Hi, guys. My name is blah, blah, blah. Um, I've been a hardcore gamer for f five years. And I want to know um, how did you guys get into um, Twitch and possibly what um, recording systems do you guys use? Okay, all right. Well, um, I don't. Well, I don't have like I have a Twitch account, but I don't have it currently set up. But um, I, he can tell you how to set it up completely. But I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not my best computer. When I get my when I get uh, a new computer built, because I'm building one up right now, and um, everything, I'm gonna set my Twitch account up. So if you want to go to my Twitch account, it should be. He can tell you, uh, or he can show you it. And subscribe to me, and when I get it up, I'll show you guys everything. But something I would de definitely recommend for a recording system is a, a program called XSplit. Because I mean, you gotta buy it. You gotta buy it if you want like full benefits and everything. But for like a monthly membership, you gotta buy. But it's really worth it. It's like ten dollars for a month, and it's amazing. High definition and everything. Um, if you guys don't have the money to work out like that um i've had my twitch account for uh well i actually had my twitch account when it was just justin tv before they switched it to twitch so i've been on and off here and there but i am currently using a broadcaster called um evolve i will put a link down it below sucks. it sucks yes but it's for what it is, which is free, it's better than. I would I've... better recommend using a video camera and freaking pirating the video. That's true. It sucks. I mean, I don't, I don't know how it does after it's up because I have never gotten it up, but it is so difficult and so freaking retarded. It's hard to get it started, but once you've got once like you it's like started and running, you're set to go. Um. The only issue is That's that what she said. The only issue is, as you guys have noticed, my videos are a little choppy. That is because of Evolve. So um, once I get the funds to go ahead and grab um, XSplit, I'm going to be doing that. Because XSplit, like he said, is easy to use and it's a nicer product. It's actually one of, I want. Could we say it's one of the best out there? Um, actually, for Twitch, it is the best. So, um, if you guys want a um, product, go ahead and grab XSplit. Yes, he did tell you guys the funds or the prices and all that. Um, but I'll have all the information down below. Um, to get a Twitch account, all you have to do is just um, sign up for Twitch, and then you have one. Um, if you want to get a partnership, I did look this up, Andrew. It is 500 um, viewers. They, okay. have they have to reach. And that Good, is, because you said 5,000, and I, nah. -uh. Right, <laughs> but it's 500 average. So that means within a month, you have to have at least 500 viewers go through your um, channel. I don't think you know how to do averages. Uh, they say per month, so. Okay. So I'm only wording it word for word as what I saw on the um, actual partnership um, application for it. Oh my god, I love these zombies. There are two zombies outside of the window. I'm in a hospital right now. They're headbanging. <laughs> I love these zombies. Awesome. Hey, 
Okay. Hey, um, so me. let's see. It looks like it's Silent Spirit. Welcome to the Twitch channel. Um, Silent night. Holy crap. There are zombies outside. <laughs> and they're going to eat my brain. Alright, so anyways, um... I'm yeah. sorry, what? Uh, that's about all the questions that have been going through. So, Silent um, Spirit, if you got a question, let us know. Um, I will. What were we talking about? Uh, nothing. That was all the um, questions have gone through. So, that's about it. Um, okay, good, because I did my little parody and now I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> and I spawned in the same goddamn spot in your server. I got the heat pack. Nice. Anyway, so silent. Um, There's a zombie running through the friggin' floor, and he's following me around, and he's not doing anything, so I feel like he's gonna molest me. Well, smack him in the head. I did. I just did. I punched him in the back of the head, and now he's, like, underground. Alright, well, this server is sucking, because I've just started yeah, losing connection. Yeah, I'm losing connection, so I'm, I'm gonna leave, too. Alright, but anyways, um... Either way. Um, any other questions? Any statements? Any blah 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 blah? No, it's only, um, we're down to, um, silence here. Is it, how many people are watching? It dropped slowly down, so we're down to just only silence here. So... One guy? Just one guy. I don't know if I should go ahead and, um, shut down the... Uh, feed or if I should ask keep it going. Well, I've been asking. I, I don't know what's going on here, though. I'll tell you what's about to go on. I'll be right back. That's what's about to go on. I'll be right back, guys. Hold up. Saturday, I'm back. All right, so what's what's that dude's name? I'm sorry, I kept forgetting what what was it. Joe. Hey guys, I'm back. Whoops. 
says there's only two guys. Oh, wow, that sucks. What? Well, I had plenty of gear in that last server, and I joined this new server, and now I got nothing. So yeah, I've got I've got like nothing now. I see. So um, anyways, um, we lost. Oi. Um, okay. Anyways, um, so what's that dude's name again? What's his name? Well, we lost oh, Silent, but we got um Furry Geek Z. Okay. Is he, the, is he the only one? Yeah, he's the only one. I just asked him if he's got um, Daisy. Well, what's up, man? How's everything going? Um, listen, if you want, if you, like, we're willing to talk, answer questions, talk to you, whatever. Hint, hint, we're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Daisy. Don't do that to me, man. Is it acting up for you, too? Well, no, it spawned me in the middle of nowhere. I have no idea where I'm at. So, Andrew, um, guess what? What? We actually have a patron that's actually on his phone. What do you mean? He's watching um, the uh, feed off of his phone. Oh. Uh. Which is kind of cool. Actually, currently asking him if it's choppy on his end. If he's there, he's still okay. So, anyways, so um, yeah, I'm gonna try going back in. Uh, I'm gonna try coming back in. You're not there, so I'm gonna back out of the server. All right. I got a question. Go ahead. Are you using your Xbox controller? No. I was wondering, because I'm watching the feed. I know this is kind of messed up, but I'm watching the feed while we're doing the feed. Oh, so that's the I, I, third I'm feed. Buttons. Okay, because it keeps saying third person, third person. Yeah, like, why is your Xbox controller still connected? Because I use it for other things. Hold on. I'm going to click on you. Uh, uh, I'm going to quickly make you a moderator. Give me a sec. Oh, 
Oh, well, isn't that just cute? What? Zombie coming from 20 miles away. Oh, fun. He's like, he's in the middle of a field and he spotted me and now he's chasing me. 